Would you get in that car or any car that was self-reliant and completely didn't need any sort of human being presence in order for the car to operate? What's up, you guys? How are you guys doing today? Hopefully, everybody's having a great day. So check this out. Before we get started, please, if you're on Facebook, share this video on your personal page. Also, share it into groups and other pages that you that you follow, that you like, or that you're involved in. YouTube and every other platform, copy the link, share it out, paste it all over the place because we're going to get into it. One more thing. If you guys like what I do, if you guys appreciate my work, if you guys appreciate the stuff that I bring to you, the places I go, the news I bring, things that mainstream media won't talk about or show you, please support by going to On American Streets forward slash donate. There's where you'll find all the ways to contribute, all the different uh, uh, services, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, Zelle, Gibson Go, all the ways to contribute and help out for me to get to the places that I get to so that I can bring you guys footage and great interviews and great content. All those are the BC Preachers. So go to onamericanstreets.com forward slash donate to help out. Now let's get into this. Recently, I was in Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona, for AmpFest 2022, uh, put on by Turning Point USA, Charlie Kirk, right? So, um, the the funny thing about this is when I was down, down there for the few days I was there, I kept on seeing all these cars that had, like, a bunch of cameras on them. Like, a cameras on top of the cars, cameras on the side of the cars, and they looked weird. I didn't know what they were. They kind of... In, in a way, they kind of look like police cars, but they weren't necessarily police cars. So I was curious, and I, I I didn't really inquire any further about it. I didn't ask nobody what they were. So I got a video sent to me um, on the last day that AmpFest was ending. My boy Justin from Florida, he sent it to me. So I want you guys to see this video because... You know, we've all been wondering and asking about self-reliant cars, cars that drive on their own, and obviously the Save the Planet people, they want this. They don't want no more oil. They don't want no more fuel. A lot of states are getting rid of their fuel cars by like 2035, that there will be no more cars that take gasoline, no more cars that take, you know, oil. They're wanting to crash that whole thing because, hey, we need to save the planet. We need to save the planet, even though we really don't care about gun violence and everything else regarding gangs and, and, and crimes. We need to save the planet when it comes to gasoline and electricity. Although we've seen electrical, electrical grids being crashed, right? We've seen that. We've seen internet go down, but we need to save the planet and go to more self-reliant cars. So... Many of us are like, well, when's this going to happen? We know that Tesla, which Elon Musk owns and, and puts out there, Elon Musk obviously makes Tesla. We know that they're electrical cars, right? We know that they're very smart cars and they can do a lot of things on their own. But they still require you to at least touch the steering wheel. And I don't even know if Tesla at this point can get you from point A to B without you touching the steer which without you touching the steering wheel or possibly even the brake or gas I don't know but I do know for a fact that Tesla makes you touch the steering wheel that they don't they do not let you just sit back snore and sleep and pass out they don't let you do that so when is these cars coming when is it, when is there going to be completely a self-reliant car that lets you just chill and you don't have to pay attention to nothing but except just be a person in a car well i guess from my understanding from what i've seen they are already here in america and the first place me seeing one or knowing about one is here in phoenix arizona check this out let me show you guys this video so please don't touch the steering wheel or pedals during your ride for any questions you can find helpful info in the waymo app like how we keep our cars safe and clean. You can also use the app or passenger screen to speak to a rider support agent at any time. In the rare case of an emergency, 
please keep your seatbelt fastened and remain in the car unless there's an urgent need to exit. Rider support will connect with you and provide assistance. Finally, relax and thank you for riding with us. Interesting. Watch this. Ooh. Crazy, right? Crazy. Now the question is, here's the question. Would you get in that car or any car that was self-reliant and completely didn't need any sort of human being presence in order for the car to operate? And the reason why I ask that, because check this out, many times we have asked or we have said, well, it's not me I'm worried about or it's not my friend if they're driving, right? Because we always give that like little... um that little alibi, that little excuse. Oh, it's not really you I'm worried about. It's the other drivers on the road. Okay, so here's the case. If we're worried about other drivers, because we've known drivers to be human beings, right? If we are worried about other drivers and not really ourselves, then the question is, are these self-reliant, electrical, no gasoline cars that are ran by computers, maybe internet, because the internet never crashes, electricity grids never go down, are these cars more safer and reliant um, than a human being, another human being who's driving toward us and possibly comes across the lane, God forbid? Are these electrical cars more safer? With that said, my boy told me that he said that the car actually did drive pretty safe. He said, believe it or not, he's like, it was pretty a, a, pretty much a, a really safe car. Like, it, I guess it, it did everything. It probably really completely stopped at a stop sign. It probably waited till there was no cars within the vicinity of the stop sign. I don't know how that works. But that question still remains, though. Are these cars going to be safer? Would you prefer that sort of electrical internet type of car? Because we know that Tesla connects to internet and, and Wi-Fi and all that, right? Because they have their big old computer screen there as their dashboard, which is Apple. And everything is ran off of Wi-Fi and connected, connected to your phone and your phone is the key and this and that. So are these cars safer? Or do we still prefer a human being behind the wheel of a car? It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's something to ask. I'm not even talking about the gas and to save the planet stuff, I'm talking in regards to a consumer, in regards to another human being riding in the car, dr driving the car. Are these things really safer? And again, that was my first time seeing them. And I didn't even know it was a self-driving car until my friend sent me the video. I had no clue. I saw them and I was like, oh, that thing looks weird. And they kind of look like a, a Mazda, more of a, a, C, a CX sort of Mazda, at least the ones in Phoenix, Arizona did, downtown Phoenix. But again, would you get behind a self-driving car? Are they safer? Something to think about because obviously they're here in America. They are at least in Arizona and they're probably spreading abroad. So, all right, you guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please go to onamericanstreets.com forward slash donate. You will find PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, Zelle, Gifts and Go, every way that you can contribute, the BC Preacher, all one word. Please share the video out. I will see you guys next time. God bless you and always keep Jesus at the center of your life.